to all the dispossessed youth of Africa for perpetuation of communion with ancestral spirits through the fight for African freedom and in the firm faith that the dead, the living and the unborn will unite to build the destroyed shrines. Hello and welcome, beloveds, to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living life in your own fully researched, fully over in and understood, uh, fully self-created narrative where you have put together your understanding of what is going on in this world because it is absolutely critical beloveds and you know you don't have to do it alone because it's like the heavens are open to us now and you can tap in to the most high for yourself but those are definitely stories for other days um, we really want to give a special shout out beloveds to our patreon family we appreciate love you so much for supporting us you know there's this video that's been going around and this is not even you know at first for me it was funny it was like a joke thing like what but this is not even funny beloveds like when I looked at it, this is this is not a joking thing. And um, it's you can see the video here where during this crossover service into the new year, you know, across Africa, uh, you know, there's a lot of churches that will do this overnight service um, to kind of cross, you know, into the new year. So during this particular crossover service, these pastors, as you see them here, were literally bathing the women of the church. First of all, I'm wondering if there was any men, but what is going on? This is the level of religious psychosis, beloveds. This is the levels we've reached. And I know some of you will say this is extreme. And there's so many other videos out there, beloveds, that show this kind of madness. Because our people are, are our spiritual people first. So we're not looking to be spiritual. We already are spiritual. And what they did is they came and smashed our spiritual compass. And that is where the religious psychosis comes in. Because they, they, they disconnected us from our natural connection. We are, you know, we are a unique being. As I always say, we're not all the same. Some of us are directly connected to source, beloveds. We hear the soul of the world for ourselves. We hear the most high for ourselves. That's how it's supposed to be. We have our spiritual team. We haven't come in here blindly just like that, alone and, you know. We have our guardian angels and ancestors and all these that are walking with us. There's a purpose why we came here. But they totally just threw off the spiritual compass of the world to the point where people will see this and they won't understand that this is a massive occult dark arts ritual beloveds the women don't understand the power of their womb the power of their essence and they don't know what the man is is you know when he touches their private parts what he's chanting and drawing from there like they're setting themselves up for the next year with power and everything like that's what i've realized like it's all about energy beloveds and when you're a melanated one, your energy is of a higher price. And then when you're a chosen one on top of that, when you've got that Christ, that, that ancient Egyptian, you know, DNA in you, that the, the ancient's DNA in you, you're like priceless. You're like more valuable than gold and oil at the current market rate. But the religious psychosis is real because people... You know, really, like, we, we can't survive without being spiritual because we are spiritual first. And we've been manipulated where our discernment has been taken away from us. Where our basic understanding of, of the most high and of creation has been taken from us. They cursed us with that statement of black people don't read. So you can hide all secrets in a Bible. That's a curse. That's a lie. That's a misconception, beloved. <laughs> 
It's so crazy what the what the past does. And, you know, and a lot of people, because they realize energy is currency, like they just want that material gain. Like these two young men, I mean, seriously, beloveds. It's so crazy. I don't even know if it's from this year, whatever year it's from. This is so crazy that it's reached this level and that people, you know, of the wizards and the warlocks are out here just, just doing their thing in plain sight because of people's ignorance and people don't even have their own discernment. You see, religion takes away your discernment and replaces it with belief. It takes away your knowing and replaces it with belief. It fills you with fear and emotion where you just accept certain things and concepts and ideas. And a lot of it is truth clothed in lies because you see, lies can survive or have that sticky factor where they can penetrate people if they're not fully engulfed in truth. It just can't happen. And so the reason I'll even do shows about, you know, Jesus and revelations is to get you to think outside of the box, get you emotional enough to go do your own research. Sitting there and insulting messengers just really is more detrimental to you than anything. As I always say, if it's not for you, it's, you're not ready and that's okay. But for those who are ready and they feel some type of way, Go prove that what you believe is right. Go prove it to yourself because that emotion that, you see, it's all about you at the end of the day. Your reactions say more about you than they say about anyone else. How you, what you say about others says more about you than it says about other, that person that you're talking about. And you see, you have a natural connection to the Most High and that's all that you need to bring that connection back online. It was severed with a knife. It was cut. You need to patch it back together and, and see it grow. And really reconnect because you're being made a fool of out here, some of you. And you see, the reason I call it a religious psychosis is you don't just get to walk away. They booby trapped your mind so much. And I get so many emails from people who are like, I've tried, but I feel guilt. I feel fear. You know, give me books that will help me to have an understanding, et cetera, et cetera. I'm actually going to do like a little book thing of some of the books that I would recommend. But a simple Google search, looking into documentaries, there's a lot of our family that have done great documentaries. And unfortunately, in this age of censorship, many of them were taken off platforms. But it's things that you can, you know, research and learn for yourself, beloveds. But it's like a spell over our people. This thing of religion where people can't even rationalize with you. They don't even want to debate. And as I said, the time for debating is over. But these people like, and, and some, it's like they're so insulting and negative. Like, whoa, what spirit is that that is even speaking through you or that you're connected with? I'd be worried about being connected to such a spirit in my own life, not even to be able to direct it to someone else. Religion is spiritual kindergarten, and that's where a lot of people, our people have remained. And that's why they're going to be sitting ducks in this season. Wow, the spirit is just moving through. But many, you know, many of our people have remained intuitive, have remained connected to their ancestors, have, you know, and, and this is the blessing. This is the, the, the indirect blessing of poverty is that many remained in their own, pretty much in their own lives. Religion, the religious psychosis is what gets a lot of people, but a lot of people, they're connected to both worlds. But they listen more to the, the, the voice of their ancestors. But for them, there's a, many more 
who are totally in this religious psychosis to the point where they won't even, you know, they, they, they'll ask you, how do I get help? How do I heal myself? How do I do this? And it's like, but then they hate their ancestors. Like, how does that even balance out? You need to know these things for yourself. You need to, you, you can't believe it when someone says your ancestors are wicked. You need to know that for yourself because that's a big, big belief that you're just, that, that's a big responsibility that you're giving to someone else. That's a big disconnection that you're making in your own life. And it's a big responsibility of truth, the, the big power thing that you're giving to someone else. You need to know the truth for yourself, beloved. Whether you go on that search for truth and you find out that Yeshua is real for you, but you've done all the research, you've looked at all the options, you've listened to your spiritual team, and that is still the narrative that is true for you, that's fine. But you can't, you will not survive in this season if you're believing. You need to know. And there's layers and layers and levels and levels of knowing. But you need to know. Tukopamoja. Wake up, wake up, wake up.